Hi everyone, Carlisi here from Moth & Myth. Today we're talking about Moth & Myth 101, what our products are, how you can use them, what adhesives work best with them. I have a little terrarium that we have set up that I'm gonna to use to demonstrate on. And I have with me some life-size specimens, medium specimens, and also micros. So our specimens come flat packed and you simply take them off the backing they are held with a little bit of museum putty, which we'll talk about later. They're double-sided. With that, to make them look more alive, you can curl the wings, bend them up, and we always give like a little bit of curl just to add a little bit more life, and then they're ready to fly. All right, now that I have finished styling all the butterflies we're gonna use for the demonstration today, um, I'm gonna go back to the terrarium we've put together. So our favorite product that we use uh, to put our moths and butterflies on other objects is Museum Putty. This is incredibly uh, easy to find. You can find it at any craft store on Amazon. Um, it's very inexpensive and you need just a small amount to use. So I'm gonna use um, Museum Putty to show you that like you can put it on a wall, you can use it on glass like we're doing here. And you just simply take like a little tiny, tiny amount and apply it. And what's great about this is you can like add the butterflies to like edges you can add them upside down, um, how, whatever direction you want, and the putty will stay. And why we love the museum putty so much for our specimens is it doesn't damage the object that you're using them on, and it doesn't damage the specimen either. So you can reuse the specimen for something else once you don't want it in the location that you've put it. The other thing that we use that is a little bit more permanent, but still, isn't as harsh is we use a double-sided clear tape and we're gonna link the one that we use um, in the comments but we just take a small amount of it it's double-sided and with this with the large specimens especially if you have like the largest ones we carry this is great because they will not move. With the museum putty, sometimes it will move around a little bit and potentially fall off. Uh, but with the double-sided tape, it won't. I will say though, um, it is not as um, friendly to the specimen. Sometimes they can get damaged when you're removing it. In our experience, taking it off a wall, the wall is not damaged, but that's like our experience with that. So that's no guarantee. But um, that's another option that we really like. The other thing you can use is um, hot glue. You can honestly use any adhesive, but our three main adhesives are the museum putty, the double-sided tape, and then the hot glue. And the hot glue is going to be more permanent. So when I'm making reefs, um, I use hot glue. Um, anything that you want to be more permanent that potentially could move around so like a door opening for a um uh, like with a wreath on it the wreath is being jostled around so um you know i like to use something that will absolutely hold it in place now with that again the hot glue is more permanent, so you have a higher chance of damaging the specimen if you do want to reuse it. So you kind of have to like gauge what adhesive is going to work best for you. So um, I would use the museum putty if you're adhering anything to the wall or to glass like we're doing here. Double-sided tape if you want it to be a little bit more secure um, and stay in place for longer and then a hot glue if you absolutely want that uh, specimen to stay where it is permanently so why don't i go ahead and decorate this whole terrarium um, and then i will show it to you guys okay
so end result, it's just a quick setup. Um, I use a combination of museum putty and the clear uh, double-sided tape. Um, there was no need to use hot glue on this because it, they'll stay still and then I'll be able to reuse the terrarium when I want to repurpose it and also the specimens. Thanks guys for joining. Uh, I can't wait to see what you create next.